Hey, what's up, guys? It's Phoenix from Rise Game Vintage here, back with another collection video. Uh, we got the. This has been one that you know I've been wanting to do for a while, man. We got Chris from Vintage Cream here. What's up, guys? Uh, you know, just ready to show his collection, everything like that. But first, man, uh, just want to kind of get into you know why you started your collection, how long you've been you know collecting tees and um, you know dope jerseys and everything like that. Uh, so I've been thrifting for a few years. I didn't really. Uh just you know, picked up a few pieces here and there, and then I started looking at uh, some vintage wrestling tees from when I was a kid. Picked a few of those up, grabbed like an old Budweiser, you know, those twenty to forty dollar tees, nothing too crazy. Yeah. Uh, then once I moved out here to Iowa, met the Vice guys. Pretty much within the last years, when I really started taking it seriously, you know, made it like more than just a yeah. every now and then thing. So for sure, man, that's sick. And definitely, I mean, you've gotten a lot of great things with yeah, that year, man. That's uh, pretty sick. Less than a year, and this is know where it's at so I'm really looking forward to the future yeah my, my taste is definitely getting more redefined and yeah for sure kind of figure out what's some of the, you know speaking of your taste what's kind of the things that you look for like to add to your collection uh big tom petty guy so any tom petty shirt uh any classic rock really fleetwood mac steve miller uh wrestling tees pretty much i'd say most of this is classic rock but sweet. anything that is sweet to me you know i mean not necessarily the the hype but yeah for sure and that, that's something that's different too because like a lot of times like you know especially now like a lot of grunge rock tees you know that's something that a lot of people look for like rap tees like all, all that kind right. of stuff yeah. like it's cool to see that someone like is not just like oh i'm looking for every single rap tee you know yeah I mean? like it, yeah I, I still definitely appreciate the, yeah for sure the stuff that's really hype but i also gonna you know, like what i like versus what you know it's yeah. cool at the yeah moment. for sure but, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And uh, is there like a, a stopping point or anything like that? Like, what's the what's the storage like right now for your tees? Um, you just got it in the closet right now and kind of going from there. I got a my closet and then like a, a little pop up rack full right now. Uh, a couple totes of the stuff I don't really wear. I don't think there'll be a stopping point. I've been trading in some lower end stuff to you know go after some higher stuff. Yeah, for sure. Um, kind of like what Tony said in a couple videos. I'm, I'm gonna try to use this as a retirement fund. Yeah, really, I think so. Sure. It's kind of a 401k, gotta keep investing. There you go, there so. you go, man. Well, man, I'm excited to do this, man. Thanks for coming on, and uh, let's get into it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Sweet man. Well, get into uh, your first, well, not t shirt, uh, yeah, first, first, first jersey, jersey here. Jersey. Let's start with the banger, man. Yeah. Uh, one of the first things I actually thrifted out in Iowa City Stone Cold. The Stone Cold, man. That's so yeah. sick. Got the big Raws War on the back. Oh, yeah, that's definitely. I actually have this one in my collection, too. Yeah. Man. It's like, dude, it's so sick. It's, it's just, I love that Raws War. The, the jerseys are definitely. Uh, Grails. I mean, every single of the artwork is what. It yeah, was yeah. There. There, you definitely don't see them as much as the t-shirts for sure. And uh, these next two are kind of cool. So we got the Stone Cold. The cool thing about this, I don't know how it fit him, but this was my dad's. Whoa. <laughs> so I, I remember him having. He also had like a Stone Cold baseball jersey, and I asked him uh, probably about a year ago. I was like, "Do you still have those?" Yeah. And he ended up pulling this out, but I don't know how this ever fit him because yeah, that's crazy. It's a crop top on me. Right yeah, now, but. Had to get the the rock matching jersey with it. That's so it. you rock the the jerseys often, or just kind of special occasions? Uh, yeah, just special occasions. Uh, this one's kind of small on me too, and there's That's no it. way I would ever fit this it's one. Just so. a crop top, dude. But yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe Cuddy will bring yeah. the crops back or yeah. something. But so. you said you're a big wrestling fan. Uh, who's your favorite wrestler of like the '90s that like added to um, it? I mean, there's a lot. Obviously, it's hard to not go with Stone Cold. Yeah, for sure. Uh, when I was younger, I used to be kind of afraid of them, but uh, Undertaker and Kane. Yeah. You know, now, now I can appreciate them much yeah. more than I'm older. But uh, those guys stick out. Rikishi, all just 
the whole year is just you yeah. can't beat that. Nothing yeah. compares to it. No, for sure, man. Some people like you know, I'm a big wrestling fan. I actually still watch like some of the product today and stuff like that and like it's changed so bunch and then you right. get into even before the added the era with like all the eighties stuff with like Hogan and uh, but it's just I don't know that '90s like attitude. Yeah, era, it's just it's so sick. Man. Yeah, it was, it was definitely different before, and it's definitely different after. Yeah. So it's just it's just right in that sweet spot. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So this next one here, pretty simple one. '95 uh, Tom Petty Dogs with Wings tour. Okay. Grabbed this one at uh, Rats actually. Oh, had, really? had it up there. Mike told me about it, so I jumped over there and ended up scooping this one. You a big uh, Tom Petty fan, like you were saying? Yeah, he's he's the GOAT. Anyone that thinks otherwise, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to argue with you, but there you go, he's definitely, definitely the guy. So most of this collection <laughs> is going to be, gonna be Tom, Tom Petty. Petty. So, uh, Tom Petty. <laughs> yeah, another Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, uh, 91. That's awesome. Turn the Great Ride. Oh, I love that back graphic. So, uh, yeah, when I grabbed this one, it had a little bit of like white paint on it right here. I, uh, I was able to get it off with uh, rubbing alcohol surprise. Oh, really? Wow. Off. So, stoked on that one. When you get like white t-shirts um, and maybe they're a little bit like more worn, do you prefer that or do you do like some of the cleaning treatments? And uh, stuff like if it's like an overall like dingy look, I don't mind that. But if it's just like one eyesore spot, I'll try to get that For out. Sure. But yeah. I definitely don't mind a little distress. So, another one. Hey. <laughs> uh, this one, I just had my collection. I got a good deal on it. Another, I believe this one's 91. Yeah, 91 as sick. well. Kind of got the cool yeah, I Was There logo. Uh, this one's a little bright for me, so I almost never wear it, but. It's a, it's a nice piece to have the collection. Yeah, just, I'll, there's even a, a couple that I know won't fit me that I might pick up just to have yeah. them, I mean, just. Well, it's like a collector's piece also, like, so yeah. like you can wear it, maybe later on you can wear it or something yeah. like that, but also like, there's some stuff, yeah, I have in my collection too. I'm just like, oh, I'll just hold on, I'll just yeah, hold on yeah. to it. You just can't pass it up. Yeah, for sure. Another Back at it again, yeah. I love it. Got the wildflowers. This is probably the first big money shirt that I ever bought. I think I ended up paying like 80 bucks for this. That's where it kind of started from there for me to understand the market of a lot of stuff. When, when you bought that, what was like the feeling? Cause like, I remember like buying my first like expensive t-shirt and yeah. everything. Like, were you like, just man, this is a lot for a t-shirt. I don't know if I should do uh, it. Or you're just like, fuck it, I should do it. Or, yeah, I was kind of hesitant at first, but uh, yeah, once once it showed up, I was I was thrilled. And then like, I think that's where it kind of yeah. started spiraling. Not out of, we didn't spiral out of control, but fueled the fire for me on the, the high dollar, high dollar tees. For sure, man, sometimes it was, you know, you can find cheaper tees too, that are fire, but sometimes when you get those grails in your collection, it's like, man, like the money was worth it. Yeah, yeah, just knowing that, like it's in the collection, just makes you feel that much better. For sure. Uh, it looks like the last Tom Petty here, another Dogs with Wing Tour 95. It's uh, definitely a parking lot tee, but those are usually the better ones. Yeah, man, those parking lot tee graphics, like, yeah. it, it's just because, you know, they didn't have to like go probably through a whole bunch of like people to get the okay on the graphic yeah. or whatever. They're just yeah. like, whoever made it just made it. Yeah, just the stuff they slap on there. It would be, it'd be sick if somebody got a, a job out of parking lot yeah. tees. Like, the stuff they design is pretty sick. Uh, here's a 91 Hard Rock Save the Planet Signature Series shirt. Uh, so they put paintings from all different artists. It's called Stevie Nicks on the back here. That's she awesome. painted that actually in 82, which... That's crazy. Yeah, that's a crazy painting. So stoked to have that one. Big Stevie Nicks fan yeah, as well. Yeah. This is a, a oh, pretty dope yeah. one. <laughs> the apple. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, usually everyone has the you know the big spell. Yeah, or I've never seen this one. Oh, I found it. That's crazy. It's got like the flavors of the uh, the different computers you got back there. I regret not. So like the blue one, back when I was like first started thrifting, like I saw it and like I didn't grab because it's a it's a computer. Right. But like they actually have money first of all, like value into yeah, it. But yeah. like I just wanted it like for the collection. I should yeah, to have. Dude, they're so like Apple. Was yeah, just they're so timeless. And, yeah. Look at it now. You know, it's just crazy to come from there. Yeah. Crazy flavors you could have got. So I got a, another Fleetwood Mac CV Nicks here. Uh, it's kind of a wild one because usually they're not that, yeah. that vibrant. Usually it's just a black or white tee. 
uh, 97. That's awesome. I got this one from uh, Mike, actually, Diggs for Fire. Yeah, shout out Diggs for Fire. Yeah, right? shout out Diggs. What's your favorite? Because uh, I noticed there's you know, different tags and stuff like that. I'm always curious, because I you know, got the giant tag there. What's your favorite kind of like tag um, to wear? Um, yeah, Giant's always nice. Brockham is usually, I feel like, a little more rare than Giant. Uh, I'd, I'd say if I had to pick one, my favorite would be uh, Brockham tags. Brockham, yeah. yeah. Which I don't have too many of those. I feel like they're just a little more rare. For sure. Nice fit to them and everything like that as well. Yeah, they're usually a softer tee. Yeah, definitely. The, uh, so some of the Giant tags are kind of hard, too, so they kind of yeah. scratch it in the back, which usually the... The Brockups are pretty soft. Yeah, I've noticed that as well. Got this uh, 93 Lollapalooza. Love those graphics so much on those. Yeah. And then the, uh, the lineup on back there is just unreal if I could go back in time. Wow. Got Primus, House and Chains, Dinosaur Jr., Person cool. Development, Rage, yeah. Wow. So you would just be cool. Yeah, like, uh, what was the one? 92 is the the with red hot chili peppers and pearl yeah, jam and everything like that. Ice Cube, like, I think it was on that one. Those lineups, man, they're not like that anymore. <laughs> like, yeah. it'd just be sick to go yeah. back and like look at all of them. Yeah, and they were doing this just pretty much like every day or whatever across yeah. the country. Pretty, pretty crazy. This one, when I thrifted, uh, some somebody altered it. It was like, I don't know, you kind of see it there. So oh, they yeah. stitched up the sides, okay. the back was folded over. So when I first found it, I was kind of bummed. But yeah. I was able to You're somewhat able to restore it. Yeah. So I know some people are usually turned away by, like we were talking about stains mm -hmm. or uh, rips or anything like that, but usually you can get a better price on them and I know yeah. I can repair them. Yeah, usually pretty it's well. pretty easy to get them out and everything. Now, speaking with that, Lala, uh, I think it was Austin that told me, because he was either when you found, at the bins, did you find that one at the bins? Yeah, yeah, I pulled that from the bins. Speaking of the bins and everything like that, I know, you know, like that's, we met at a Goodwill over in West Des Moines, the one over there, right, I remember, yeah. but like we see each other a lot at the bins and everything like that. I know it's like one of your favorite places to go. Yeah. Uh, is it just the picking or is like the kind of the hunt a little bit uh, different and everything like that? Like what, what's like the love for the bins that you definitely can appreciate? Yeah, so uh, it's definitely the hunt. I feel like, uh, I wouldn't say more quality stuff, but older and dirtier stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, flawed stuff will end up there versus you know a regular goodwill it's got to be pretty pristine to yeah. put it out and then uh, yeah just just digging through that if I could live there do that every day that's, sure, man. That's, that's that's just such a rush and when you finally pull something out yeah I mean, it's like oh man I can't believe it. yeah yeah there's you definitely pulled some heaters out there too so yeah it's uh, it's kind of to the point where I don't even like to go to a, yeah a retail store anymore because just I know how good the bins are yeah for sure <laughs> I, I seem to have some mojo, so. Man, when, to, when you get that streak going too, it's like oh, uh, yeah. dude, you just keep going and yeah. going because like you can't let that die, man. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Alright, jump into the next one. We got the 97 98 Rolling Stones. I've always loved that graphic on there. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, you know, normally it's the, the name real yeah. big, it's kind of more of a subtle one. Yeah. But me and my buddy Ethan, I took him to the bins for the first time, and we were just looking through some clothes, and ended up pulling out a, a Stones voodoo. Oh, he was shit. like, oh, what's this? And I was like, dude, that's a, yeah. <laughs> a sweet Rolling Stones shirt. And then uh, in that same bin, I ended up pulling this one. So it's awesome. Pretty good first day for him. Yeah. Sometimes that, like, the first, like, the beginner's look, and you're like, man, they got, like, shit. Like, yeah. It's been here all day. And <laughs> I can't remember what I found my first time there. There's some decent stuff, but within the first 20 minutes there, he had a... Yeah. A really sick band tee, so he needs to come back. He just needs to be like your good luck, man. Just like, all right, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll be pulling today. yeah, he hasn't. Uh, I think he's been back one other time, and we we did some pretty good stuff that time, too. Sure. So, this one might be my favorite t shirt in my whole wow. collection. Another that's why 91 Tom Petty, uh, I love like and everything. Really. yeah. So, all uh, not these two, but everything else on here is uh, either a backstage pass. For a crew pass, and before I bought this one, I had not seen another one ever yeah. in existence. And it came from the original lady. I think she she went to a concert in uh, North Carolina, grabbed this there. That's so sick. So I kind of got the story with yeah. it. Yeah, that's the cool part about like you know vintage t-shirts that I definitely appreciate versus like a lot of other things that people collect is like there's so many stories, especially with tour tees. Yeah. Like, 
no, I went to this concert. I've had this right. teacher forever. I only know how much it's worth. What do you want? And like, you know, those kind of things. It's like, yeah, it's super awesome getting a story. And then uh, this one has some flaws on it, some paint and all that. So, you know, it wasn't just bought and thrown yeah, in the closet. Like she, wore it. she appreciated it. Yeah. Now, now it's in your collection and you're appreciating it. Yeah. That's the, that's yeah, the that's, love. I love that I love one a lot. That one's sick. Yeah, there's some. It's uh, crazy. This one here is pretty good. It's got some like female dogs. It's yeah. All dressed up with somewhere to go. It's backstage pass. It's crazy. Okay. Yeah, awesome stuff. All his backstage passes. Uh, I don't know who designed yeah, it. Yeah, sure, they want to find that artist. Like, he definitely had some awesome ones. So here's one I actually just picked up today before I came here. Trade the uh, Digs for Fire Mike. Uh, Primus shirt for this. It's definitely worth it. Oh yeah, I've been I've been eyeing one of these for a while, so it hurts letting the Primus go. But yeah. Well, sometimes if you can get something that you've been looking for for a yeah. while, and you know. Yeah. Yeah, I was after this one for a while, so it feels good to finally finally grab it. And this, uh, the more I like look into MC Escher and all that, his artwork is just so yeah. so dope and so crazy. He's definitely probably one of my favorite artists. It's just wild. Just a, a real simple one from the front. You wouldn't know what it is. Just got a razor blade. It's a uh, '90s Suicide Solution it. Ozzy. It's simple, but it's just like some yeah. of those simple T-shirts are like just. Yeah, I, I really like how simple. Just like yeah, just a razor blade on the front. Like no one knows, and then like then they see your back. They're like, oh, yeah. Nor normally I I don't like just like the the small breast logo, mm -hmm. but yeah, on this one, just so simple, but yeah. so sick still. Oh, let's see. Another pretty dope one I grabbed at the bins the other day. Just uh, blinded by testing. All over anatomy, blinded by science test answer cheat sheet shirt here, I guess. But that's awesome. Just got anatomy all over it. It's Sometimes dope. those, and it kind of has that uh, the Escher kind of like style and everything like that. Yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's pretty sick. Yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> 93 spin doctor so that's sick I do this every now and then where like so uh, coming out here to Des Moines for where the bins are yeah it's a good two hours both ways so I listen to a lot of music and sometimes I'll sit there and a song will come on and then that'll inspire me to go you know just see what their t-shirts yeah. are going for so heard a couple spin doctor songs uh, about a month ago and had to grab a spin doctor shirt 93 tour that's awesome they still play like every uh like my day job like I work at a retail store and like yeah. I hear uh two princes like every yeah. single day. <laughs> like yeah. it's I would know that song by heart. Yeah. Now. yeah. <laughs> it's it's a pretty solid thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh here's somewhat of a local one, Knoxville National, National shirt. Yeah. I find a lot of these, uh and usually I get rid of them pretty quick or throw them back, but this one's just got the checkered sleeves. Yeah, so different. Not not a big fan of really the glitter print. Honestly. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know if I've ever wore this one honestly, but just the the checkered sleeves. Yeah, are, that's are that's pretty tight. I've never yeah. seen that. So. Sleeve work you don't see too much. Usually it's all like the prints and everything right, like that. Yeah. Like when they do something different with the sleeves, that's definitely a banger. Yeah. So for now, I can't let this one go. Yeah. From that uh, same time, I found that one actually at the bins. Pull this. It's a pretty sweet mark by yeah. one. People who know use Valvoline. Just the racing tees. Like I remember a couple years ago, like racing tees were like everybody was wanting them and everything like right, that. Yeah. Like now it's not so much, but like if you the graphics are so sick on them, like the all over prints and everything, like through either the Dale or Hart. There's one Rusty Wallace one I really want. It's like Ride the Lightning and it's got lightning bolts going yeah. you know that one. Yeah, they definitely yeah. want uh a lot harder than they really had to, but yeah, there's definitely some really sweet ones. I got one of these black ones here is a really yeah, a really sweet one that's excited to show that. It's got a 94 Stevie Nicks Street Angel. Just got the CD on the front there and then the wheel, wheel is, that like a, is that like a dirty yeah. wide or is it a cream? I like think a, it's supposed to be a cream. Uh, that's a rare, like you don't see, like that's a right. That's it a dope had dope. like a, a spot on the front and I was really yeah. hesitant to try to, to get the stain out because if it Whitened it up, then I'd have to, you know, yeah, whiten the whole shirt. I think it's a cream robe, like, yeah, that's sick. But yeah, it's, it's different. You don't usually, it's they're supposed to be white, yeah, and then they'll be yellow, but yeah, it's a different one. 
another 94 like the Eagles so it kind of I didn't realize that when I first bought it the more I looked at it though it's like it's got supposed to be kind of a face oh uh, shit yeah kind of got that crash yeah. manic vibe yeah for, but simple simple back there but yeah. with that graphic man that's yeah. so sick yeah and you I know you were talking about with Tony uh, if you prefer the front or the back yeah I usually prefer just the front just the front or front and back yeah front and back like double sided yeah I mean, it just adds to the t-shirt, and like when you look at the the designs, usually uh, t-shirts that are double sided usually have a better front graphic, or, right? You know, the back graphic, yeah. even if it's simple like that. Yeah. Still dope. Like you said, if you got like a flannel or a jacket, yeah. Like you still you just get the picture. The yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. Uh, another Stevie Nicks here. Blue shirt. Don't have too many that aren't black and white, but ninety eight and change to it. Yeah, that's all. Have you been able to uh, see any like Tom uh, or Stephen Nicks and yeah? So I actually I know uh, they just came here not too long ago. Yeah, well. I caught Tom Petty at Wrigley Field that that last tour before he died. Uh, My first and only time seeing him. Uh, so really glad I did yeah, that one. Yeah, that's awesome. Then, yeah, I uh, saw Fleetwood when they're here. I think it's last November. Yep. Had some nosebleeds. Looked last minute while we were already in those seats. Upgraded the fourth row. Yep. So. Uh, it's gonna be hard to beat that yeah, one. Yeah, I love those concerts. Like, cause you go in thinking you're about to get nosebleeds, and they're right. like, "Here, you have to." I'm like, "Sick." Man. Yeah, it was, it was unreal. Uh, That's an experience, though. Yeah, can't wait to see him again. It was, yeah. it was unreal. Another pretty cool Budweiser one. Uh, you always see the frogs. Yeah. Or chameleon, but got an anteater here. That's so what? And then the back's got the spots for you. Bottle stuck on his nose. That's different. I love the the wash on that too. Like, yeah, it's it's kind of one of those blue, but like blue gray. Things. Yeah, and this one's got some you know some holes, and but I really really adds to the shirt. I think, yeah, for sure. Nothing wrong with a little bit of distressing, you know. Got the '91 Lone Wolf Harley. Wow. Which this one's got a crazy fade. Looks like you know someone like literally went through you know like uh, was riding on a yeah, bike with it and like you know went through across the country. A lot of sun on yeah, this thing. that's so sick. Which the weird thing about this, uh, when I washed it, the water turned like super red, orangish. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's rust or just maybe cigarette smoke. Yeah, but, but I mean it looks like it's been through some yeah, shit. And, like has a story to it. Like uh, I was telling my buddies about it. If I if I found this and like perfect condition yeah I wouldn't like it as much as yeah the, the fade that it's got on us. yeah for Looks sure way cool yeah it definitely does this is probably one of the shirts first shirts I grabbed before I really got into thrifting but all right thrift every now and then uh it was one of those times where I was thinking about I want to find a crocodile hunter shirt or yeah. I want one ended up walking in a thrift and there it was randomly but yeah I remember uh, me and my sister used to have like all the little toys yeah and used to watch it all the time dude like the guts on that man bro like dude, i yeah. remember there was one like there's like the famous one that went like viral on facebook after he passed away but like the one with the snake where like he's holding the snake and then like it bites his bites neck, his neck and, and like just no fucking reaction yeah. i'm like what the hell like this dude's legend he's like oh he's biting me yeah but yeah uh, i couldn't do any of that stuff no. he does. He's, he's got some balls yeah for sure. <laughs> another pretty sweet distressed faded one oh, that's awesome Got the Kiss Psycho Circus. Them like busting out of a cage yeah. here. And uh, got completely fucking psycho on the back there. It's fucking sick. Which, this is one of the cooler Kiss shirts I think personally yeah. out there. Other than the all over prints. But yeah, the fading on this one too makes it look a lot cooler than yeah. the, the new ones Sometimes I Sometimes the line. fades like will add to, you know, like like you said, the coolness of the t shirt look. Yeah. Thing. Like that's, that's definitely sick. Yeah, and that's. You just can't get a, a new tee and recreate Yeah, it, you know? they made a lot of dope graphics, especially like their 90s like t-shirts. Yeah. Like a, lot of, a lot of dope stuff. Like we just had one, I think it sold, but like it, uh, it was just a simple, but it was all over print, like Kiss and everything like that. It's and the, be, growing up in the 90s, uh, anything that you wanted Kiss related, they, yeah. made, they made it. Yeah. So that's pretty crazy. They, they definitely the king to merch. Oh yeah, for sure. So go ahead and pull both of these. Actually, pulled both of these at the bins before I showed up here, which is just adds to the yeah. <laughs> I, I, I traded Mike, uh, Dicks for Fire, 
for that white one at about nine o'clock. By ten o'clock, I had three ushers. It's, it's crazy. That's so wild. But on that one, so much. That's yeah, so I, I haven't really seen this one yeah. that much. Definitely not this front. I don't think I've ever seen that graphic, but it's pretty cool. Within an hour, you yeah, three, you got three zero things. zero to three. It's yeah. you don't always have those kind of days, but definitely appreciate it. Good, good start to the day. Yeah, they're yeah, really inspiring. Another classic rock guy here, Steve Miller Band. Got so the, uh, kind of groovy joke. Yeah. And, uh, there's 95 somewhere yeah. to around it. Oh, the, the font. Huh? Yeah, so the font and then just like the uh, the colors. Like it's, yeah. So it's pretty groovy looking. Steve Miller, another another one of my favorites. Usually it, I'll like somebody, but once you see somebody live, it totally, yeah. like, you appreciate their music yeah. that much more. Because there's a difference between like a studio person who was like really good at like right. recording studio albums yeah. and then like live performers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there's been people who I've seen that like just yeah, like elevated just everything like yeah. for me, like when I saw them like Yeah, it'll take you know a mediocre song and just take it to that yeah. next level or a great song and then Yeah. It's, it's either it's fifty fifty really. Yeah. It's gonna be yeah. It's gonna make your night or like just hurt it. Here's one of the, the oldest shirts I have. This one's a '89 Tom Petty wow. Strange Behavior, which I was after after this one for a while. Finally grabbed a good deal on it. This one gets reprinted a lot. Yeah. And uh, after doing a lot of research, I know the the subtle differences in it. But it's got the crazy wow. cow okay. jumping over the <laughs> moon, so which this is one of the most like random back graphics yeah. or graphics he has. But he has a he has a shirt that has the front with. Uh, it's a black shirt, and this is this is big on the front. Okay. Yeah. And then the back is like a bunch of constellations, and this uh, says like nothing makes sense because, you know, all the all the constellations will have like four stars, yeah. and it's a whole gladiator or something yeah. like that. So that's that's probably my next uh, Tom Petty I'm trying to grab. So if anybody has yeah, that, hit them up. We're we're gonna put everything down below. Yeah. Always trying to add Tom Petty. He's a uh, not the biggest Milo fan, but you can't turn down. Bat, bats out of hell. I know, that's so sick. Uh, O2, so a little newer one, but overall with that, still, you know, sick graphic. That's yeah. kind of like my cutoff usually. It was like O2. Yeah, O2. It, it really depends on the shirt, but like, you get some of like the Jackass, Viva Van yeah. stuff, which is yeah, you know, exactly. early 2000s. That's probably yeah. about the same for me. Uh, I actually wore that shirt uh, when I was bartending one night, so I could bar. Mm -hmm. And uh, now one of my customers always just refers to me as Meatloaf. Meatloaf. <laughs> hey, Meatloaf, yeah, what's so, up, man? I mean, not, not the greatest nickname, but uh, it's better, you know. It's, yeah, it's a cool story. Yeah. Now. I know anytime I go. see a shirt, I'm thinking of that. So. <laughs> I know. I uh, oh, really yeah. appreciate this yeah. one. Foley is God. The Foley is God with uh, <laughs> so cool. Worship the Sock that's on so the back. Yes. Yeah, I, I didn't think about it earlier, but Mankind, Good yeah. Love, definitely up there. Was, one of my favorites at that time too. Uh, that Royal Rumble where he got eliminated, you know, as each person yeah. was crazy. He kept just being yeah, able to come back. Kept on showing up. I remember when he when he won the title for the first time and Stone Cold comes out and then hits uh, I can't remember who, I think it was the Rock with the chair and everything like that, and then uh, he was on a raw and like you know, it was yeah. like yeah, that was definitely one of the favorites. Awesome. So here's a Kind of a rap style, I guess. Yeah. Definitely about this font. Uh, not really a basketball fan mm -hmm. by any means. Uh, but I mean, Bulls in the 90s, they made so many t shirts and so many dope crap. Yeah, this, you know? this is a crazy graphic. And then this is the first first time I went on a, a crazy thrift trip. Uh, I think I ended up hitting 13 different Goodwills that day. Wow. Like, started early, drove all day. And this is, I think this is the only thing I bought. Yeah. So, like, this one, this one has some good sentimental value to me. Yeah, just like in such a dope graphic. Some of those days, like even though you'd only find one thing, but like it's the experience of like going everywhere, yeah. and, like, you know, checking everything. That's like some of my favorite days too. Yes, yeah, so like, there's definitely some shirts where I can't uh, like remember the whole day, but that there's those shirts where yeah, exactly where you found it, what yeah. you were doing. So this is one of those for me. It's it. Another little newer one. I think this one's nice. O two. Uh, Blink-182, which I actually, uh, we went on that tour with. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. Little <laughs> man. Yeah. Uh, I actually grabbed meet and greet for uh, uh, Kansas City, so. Oh, you're going to Kansas City? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to Council Plus and uh, the one in September. 
Yeah, so uh, I was gonna go to Council Bluffs, but then I realized that Wayne's not on that one, so. Oh, he's not? No. Oh, man, see, so, you know, now I gotta yeah, make a decision. Yeah. So, I haven't bought any tickets yet, so now. Yeah, so it's, it's about the same drive. So. Okay, yeah. And then uh, sure. that opening band, Neck Deep, is one of my favorite Miles yeah. bands, so super stoked for that day. Got the. Oh, Elton John, really. Billy Joel. Kind of just dope graphical. Yeah. Though. Piano, but yeah. I mean they were really good, you know, still are piano yeah. players and everything. And uh, I mess with Billy. I mean I like Elton too, but Billy Joel, my father's like a huge ass Billy Joel oh, fan. Nice. I had the, the I gifted him the face to face one uh, with both faces right there, the same tour in ninety four. Right, yeah. But like yeah, Billy Joel, definitely love Billy Joel a lot. Yeah, when I found this, I think there was a there's a Billy Joel. It was like it almost looked like a, a rap style. It's like pink lighting. It was just him sitting there shredding the piano. Yeah. I had to hold on this one. I had a few people ask me if this is a dude from CSI Miami. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, yeah, no, it's yeah. John. Oh, you should have said, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, him and Billy Joel are really yeah. close, you know? <laughs> yeah, before before you knew him as a yeah. CSI Miami guy. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, another Eagles, which just one out. Doesn't really jump out right away, but I love that. Once, nice you like, Eagles in there. once you start to look at it more. Hell freezes over 95. I just watched a CNN did like a little like documentary piece on them on uh, just about like their band and like when they broke up for a bit and like came back together yeah, and all that stuff like that. It's pretty interesting. So, yeah, I'll yeah, check that out. I love uh, just like learning about music, yeah. but especially yeah. bands you like. It's, yeah. so, it's so crazy to see the it's stuff like you were half what I watch. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. It's just, yeah, yeah it's a cool scene. Uh, another Tom Penny and the Heartbreakers is really simple, just that old school logo. I think this one's from 99. Yeah, this one's 99. Winterland. On a Winterland. Probably the most uh, subtle Tom Petty idea I had, yeah. but gotta have it. It's a dope graphic, though. I mean, got yeah, the electric it's, guitar, you got uh, the... Which they talked about when they designed this. Obviously, I'm a pretty big tattoo guy. They designed it trying to make it look like a tattoo. Uh, kind of okay. give it yeah, those aspects yeah. with the... Usually it's like a heart with mom and then, you know, the ribbon, so... Probably another reason why I'm so, such a big fan of Tom. Sure. Great graphic. Got another Steve Miller Space Cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> 98. 98. Which I I love grabbing tees for for lower prices. And then yeah. you, you go back and check on them a few months later. Yeah. And they're just and you're like, oh, they go. Yeah. I grabbed them. Then. I'm glad I grabbed it when I did because yeah, this one definitely jumped up. And, and then like the harder to find ones too, like. I've noticed like there's some tees in like my collection that like I've grabbed and like they're just can't find them anymore. And it's like yeah. a good thing I grabbed them at that time. Yeah. Was, never know when you get the other shoes. That's why I always, uh, you know, I'll, I'm pretty much on eBay every day. Or yeah. Depop, just looking, and uh, if I if I see one that I haven't seen before, I almost have to pull the trigger if it's reasonable because yeah. you never know if you'll see it again. Exactly. And especially if it's a good deal. Just it's like why not just grab it? Gotta grab it now because. Yeah. You ever do like the save searches? Like I have that too. Yeah. Like I'll save like things that I'm really looking for, like yeah. all my promo tees and stuff like that. And then like they'll pop up and I'll click it and then spend like, yeah, like two hours like just yeah. looking through stuff. It's always at night too, I don't know why. Yeah, pretty much when I'm bored or just winding yeah. down, I'm just sitting there too. The yeah. same thing. It's got my notifications off for a lot of them too. Which sure. Try to grab those deals. Another Fleetwood Mac here, this one's, uh, Definitely a parking lot tee. Mac is back. Yeah, Mac is back. Wow. That's all their, the different albums that they had here. Uh, got this one when we went out to uh, uh, Council Bluffs, Omaha from uh, The Real Case. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. so pulled, cool. he pulled this off his rack when we were looking and we worked out a deal. So. Same thing. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah. Kind of got the shirt off his back in a way. <laughs> there you go. Uh, back to another. Fleetwood Mac, 97 Tour. It's got the same graphic as that white one on the yeah. back, just not so vibrant, a little more subtle. Sometimes subtleties are like, it's just nice to have, because like, 90s were so like, just all over prints yeah. and everything like that. So, so like, there. just to have those like, subtle prints you can wear like, yeah. every day. Which this one, uh, this is that shirt I wore when I saw Fleetwood Mac, so it's gonna be, Oh yeah. it's not the one from the, that tour, but yeah. it's, gonna, it's gonna be my concert shirt. There you go. Just just picked up this one pretty recently. Wow. After it, uh, all over prints. Yeah. Aired. It's a little bit of pre-read lyrics on the back there. 
I think, I mean, the graphics super dope. It's kind of got that Harley look yeah. with the big eagle. Uh, but I was really after it because a lot of those 90s skinners should have the Confederate flags yeah. and all that, and I'm not really... Nah. <laughs> really trying to wear one of those at the moment yeah. in general, so really, really stoked I got this one for a steal finally. Nice. Back to uh, back, back at it. Back to another Tom Teddy. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, another Dogs with Wings tour. Almost the same graphic. Yeah, as this here one. we go. <laughs> Which has got a lot of variations in this one, but the back again just part of the size. Crazy mashup. So this is one. Of, this is one of my favorite ones. You just never see, like the parking lot to you. I like this. Just yeah, just so sick. Love the great design. Oh yeah. Got a, I think this is 90, 93 Jackal. Good, good classic rock, man. Yeah. The, uh, that back is pretty good. Jackal me off. Which we, we had this like big motorcycle rally uh, back home in Illinois, where I'm from. And uh, I remember a kid Jackal played there, and I didn't really yeah. think nothing of it, but I wish I would have paid yeah. attention a little more because now I would like to see him. Another Fleetwood Mac, same same graphic here, yeah. same color with the back. Uh, I remember I seen uh, Austin showed me a picture, I believe, from uh, when Hot Topic first opened. Yeah, that T-shirt wall. Yeah, and uh, I want to say this is one of the ones that was on that wall. So it'd be super sick one day to like base your collection, yeah. just remake that whole wall. That'd but, be kind of sick. Yeah, pretty stoked to see this one in the in the live out there. Now you've seen uh you've seen Fleetwood, you've seen Tom Petty before he passed away. Is there like any other kind of bands you're trying to see, um, like that's on the list? Um, at this point, I I'm down to see anybody. Uh, I saw Kiss in Moline earlier this year. I got tickets to see them again. It's just a crazy show. It makes makes yeah. sense. They're just an animal. Um, pretty much. There's definitely people I want to see. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to see Frampton. I think he's on his final tour. Yeah. Sometimes those final tours, and then like you never know if like that's the final tour. Like right. Usually people announce like bands announce, yeah. but like sometimes it's just like nope, that's it. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's I think he's doing his like farewell, farewell tour. Yeah. But uh, I mean, Kiss is a great example of that this is their third <laughs> yeah. farewell tour. Yeah, so. that's, yeah that's true. Really oh, that's good. Uh, yeah, I love that. Your pet or mine, which I, I'm, I remember a little bit, like the the old commercials mm -hmm. with Louie and uh, the frogs in it. But yeah, pretty good graphic. Mm -hmm. They don't do like the ads, like you know, a lot of like the '90s ads are yeah. like, really good. Yeah, I mean, there's still good ads out there, but like yeah, like the the known stuff, like the frogs right. and like, things like that. Yeah, that product recognition. They they definitely their marketing in the '90s was yeah. it was awesome. Uh, another Steve Miller, another one I got from Mike. Pretty much same few people I ended up yeah. doing business with. That's how it goes. <laughs> Joker plays the blues, and then love that. Got that that sweet uh, file on the back. Steve Miller blues man. Another parking lot Tom Petty. Uh, this one's from O2, so this is the newest one I got. It's still sick though. Yeah, just. Kind of, kind of rap tea, I guess. Yeah. Got like that rap tea look. But it's also, uh, I didn't mention on those other ones, it's pretty cool to see some of those bigger names. A lot of times they'd hit Ames. That yeah. Was, that was the main one on Ames seems like the, you know, a lot of those tours, yeah, yeah, that's the main. It's like Ames, Cedar Rapids. Like, it didn't seem like the yeah. one was hit a lot, which is weird. Yeah, which now nowadays, uh, a lot of big people don't, don't usually show love to the Midwest too much, uh, other than Chicago, so it's kind of cool to see that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this one's more of a, a simple one, but I just love the the colors on that are so sick. With the oh yeah, and just yeah. simple hard rock. rock's just sim you know simple, but it's yeah. so sick. Like I always wanted to collect like in all the cities. Yeah, and there's so many. Yeah, but just the colors on this one is a, the reason I still got it. Yeah. Yeah. you see a lot of them, but yeah. definitely some of them jump out to you for sure. Uh, Dudleys got the Dudley Dudley Death Drop. One of the my favorite. Yeah, teams to to watch. 
uh, right up there with the Brothers of Destruction. Yeah. The tag team, like, in the 90s, like, uh, like them, Edge and Christian, the Hardys, like, that, you yeah, know, like, those are one of my favorites. Yeah, it was so iconic, for sure, between, and then some of the matches were, yeah. some like of the best TLC matches. TLC, man, like that, yeah. Yeah, I remember just watching some of those ladder matches, and it's, it's unreal. Those Dudley boys are hard to find, man, like, those, oh, yeah. like, I never can, like, I'm still on the hunt for them, like, I never can find, like, the Dudley boys t-shirt, there's a couple. Okay. Uh, I really, I'm not a big tie-dye guy, but the, uh, their tie dye shirt. Yeah. I'd like to grab that one. That, yeah, that one's super sweet. Finally, get to that that other NASCAR. Oh, yeah. Goes super hard. So I got this one from uh, Demetrius at Vice. Trade him a shirt for it. But like, nightmare. On the I'm just yeah, more looking into it. I'm like, what? So that's so sick. He's got you know the Freddy Krueger yeah. glove, but he's got spark plugs. And then. Uh, Another little cool thing. I grew up on Wall Street, so hey, that's sick. I was also a nightmare on Wall Street for some of my neighbors. <laughs> but yeah, again, just some. That's sick, man. Yeah, crazy graphic on that one. Oh, shit. here's another real sentimental one. Uh, I remember watching this as a kid. You know, not fully understanding it, but I knew it was just it was it's just, just good some, shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do America is probably what I watch more than the show. Yeah. But I watch that over and over. And, and uh, yeah, it's such a tight, tight one. It's definitely a, a grail of mine. And a lot of it, uh, yeah, the show was so sick. And then did they, even when they did the uh, like the reboot of it back in like 2012, yeah. 11, something like that, yeah. like it was still. Yeah, still it was pretty up. good. So, yeah, sometimes when they try to do that, it should have like been left yeah. untouched. But yeah, I think they did that one all right. Got a rest in peace Undertaker signature there. Oh shit! Well, just this one when I first first found it, I wasn't sure if it was a reprint because mm -hmm. uh, you just never see like yellow with the yeah. Undertaker. It's, yeah. it's using purple. But uh, my buddy Ethan actually just grabbed the same shirt as me, so we always gotta make sure we're not wearing them on the same day. One of the few wrestling teams I had left, unfortunately. Let a couple of them go to Tony. He got my Rikishi. And oh yeah, um, a few other ones. Yeah. I need that one. When I saw that's one, I don't have the other yeah. Rikishi. Like it's harder to find. Those are like harder to find ones. They're the ones that are like because the Stone Cold, the Undertaker, the Rocks. Like maybe yeah. a lot of like different yeah. ones. It's so, like this one is like you know. Yeah, I really. Uh, I found a few. I really wanted to the Tajiri shirt. Yeah, the Green Mist. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, it was such a crit like wild gimmick. Yeah. you're just literally spitting in somebody's face, but. Uh, I'd like to find one of those. Just a camel, 91 sturdy dress. Nice. Born to be smooth, pretty cool one. Simple little pocket tee. This one's one of my favorite. It's got the Travis Scott vibes. Yeah, yeah. But like American Thunder, Travis Scott. Yeah. Kind of stuff. Well, that's a little, uh, Sturge tees are like getting harder and harder to find on a lot. Yeah, like, there, I see a lot of them that have that same graphic, but when you get the, the more obscure ones. Yeah. And uh, this one's pretty cool because she's kind of like got a mullet. Yeah. Kind of white, trashy looking. Yeah. They have another version uh, where she's pretty pretty normal looking. So this one's definitely cooler because she's got the the white trash look there. Yeah, for sure. I mean, mullets, you know, why not? Let's bring mullets back. You know? I mean, yeah, they came, they came back for a little bit in high school. I, yeah. I had one. You had them one? Okay, we got to get that picture going yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if there's any photo evidence of that, but it was there. So yeah, that wraps up the sick man. I mean, that's a crazy collection. Uh, definitely, the cool thing I like to see about people's collections, like you see the love for like what you're into, right. and also like what you collect, and like just the stories behind them too, and everything like that. Man, it's that's definitely. Uh, how many, I don't even know how many we have there, but it's just. I think I think it's like I got thirty to forty here, yeah, man, which that's definitely. I mean, it's still a lot, you know, compared yeah. to like if you explain to somebody, it's like, yo, I have. Or even 40 t-shirts, like yeah. the vintage t-shirts. I'm like, what? Like, that's that's yeah. wild. Like, I uh, mean, really appreciate it, man. And uh, kind of want to get into now uh, about your like top five um, kind of t-shirts within the collection. So uh, let's get into it.
sick. So get into your top five, man. I know it was hard for you. You're yeah. kind of looking and searching through and everything like that. Um, but let's talk over your top five, man. Yeah, so uh, this one's pretty rare, Tom Petty for me. Uh, just that, you know, like colorful graphics, yeah. pretty crazy one on it. Uh, it's one of the earlier Tom Petty ones. Don't I haven't seen this one pop up too much. I just love like yeah the piece I don't know. And, uh, it's like the subtle like kind of hints, and then you got the grayed out with the band, and then you got the colors on there. Yeah, like, just like the the coloring through there kind of matches this back, which yeah. the, that's, that's not one of my favorite Tom Petty should say. And uh, this one again, not really the biggest Bulls fan, but it's just got that that sentimental value, like. Thrift trip that I remember, and the dope graphics. This one's more sentimental than you know, the piece itself. But then this Apple one, uh, have good luck finding Apple keys. Uh, it's one that I haven't seen very often. Yeah. I just love the the old that that retro uh, technology stuff. Like I'd like to find me a sweet Nokia shirt too, or something. But it's just random stuff that like you know, it's like the initial. Like I have. Uh, there's a VHS that I found that was like the internet, learning the internet or something like that. Yeah. It's like random stuff like yeah. that you don't see. And like, yeah, that one's that's just definitely sick. Yeah, and it's, I mean, Apple is what Apple is, but it's crazy to see too how far, like this was, like, this was a computer, now you got yeah. basically a phone and yeah, a computer. Yeah, exactly. So it's cool to see where it starts from. Definitely. And yeah, this one, just the, all the tour passes all over it. Just such a crazy mashup. Parking lot tea. This one's from that other shirt. Yeah. Uh, he'll hit his own record label, Gone Gator. Pretty sweet on there. So, I'd say that's definitely my favorite Tom Petty shirt that I have for sure for now. Yeah. But it'd be hard to beat that one. And then, yeah, to just fully as God. And so, so much of my childhood was spent either playing SmackDown versus Raw or yeah. watching wrestling. And, yeah, it's just such a dope one. That's with the, the Sacco on the right there. Definitely one of the best, you know, just entertainers, wrestlers, you know. Yeah, he's, he's, he's so able to do sick. so many gimmicks. Yeah, you know, just do them so And not, well. like, he was athletic, but, you know, like, if you look, you yeah, like, he was a bigger guy, you know what I mean? Like, for what he could do, like, yeah. And, uh, he took some beatings. Dude. Like, that, that one chip that has all his, like, injuries. Yeah. Just, he's gone through some hell, but yeah, he's crazy, one man. of the best to ever do. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. For sure, man. That's an amazing collection, amazing top five and everything like that. Um, definitely thanks for stopping by, yeah, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, where can everybody follow you on Instagram and all that? Uh, yeah, so uh, on Instagram, Vintage Cream. And uh, have a deep hop, don't really post too much on there, but any, anything new will end up on that uh, on my Instagram. So yeah. that'd be the place to go. Yeah, for sure, man. And um, I know you're a big Tom Petty uh, collector, Stevie Mix. Is there anything in particular that you look for that people can hit you up about? Uh, pretty much any XL Classic Rock I'd probably be into. Uh, looking for, you know, Pink Floyd, wrestling tees, uh, I mean, really anything that catches my eye, but yeah, if you got Tom Petty, Fleetwood Mac, anything like that, definitely send it my way. Sweet, man. Sounds good. I want to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, uploading vintage content every single week. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Rise Again Vintage. You can follow anything Rise Again Media related on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of that at Rise Again Create. I do want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.